Hello YouTube, uh, I'm doing this video to show you guys how to build your own Meshtastic node and here's the thing you're gonna need. Uh, first of all, we're gonna need an ESP32. Um, now this is a 30 pin one. Um, you can get away with the bigger one if you want to add more sensors and whatnot. And um, I haven't tested the smaller one, I think called C3, but uh, if it have all the pins you need, then you know, this is gonna work for you. Next up here, we have the LoRa Modulo. Let me just see if we can, yes. Yeah, so this is an RA02 and it is 433 megahertz. Um, it comes with this expansion board. Now these pins you're gonna solder yourself. So uh, if you're not comfortable with that, uh, probably buy in Hel a Heltec. Um, you're gonna solder these pins and uh, you will have access to all of these pins, you know, with these standard cables. So it would be easier for you to guys hook it up. Uh, now the only, um, the only frequency I've found that comes with an expansion board is 433. Um, I've, seen some pictures online for an expansion boards that they're sold without the chip so you can solder the chip yourself but i really didn't find any on aliexpress um also this one comes with an ipex connector so you can you know add your own antenna uh that's for the modulo here you need an ipex sma so this is a female sma connector with an IPix on the other side. Now this is a bit too long. Uh, the longer your cable, the more signal loss you will have. So try to get the shortest one. And next up here we have the antenna. This is cheap antenna. On my website you can find better ones. It's gonna be a male. Uh, you can find better ones. This is just small and you know, I can move it around in the video is much easier, but don't use that not good range at all and a bunch of these cables. Now, something you're gonna notice here is the, because the LoRa modulo, let's show you guys here, have multiple uh, ground pins. So in order for us to ground it, uh, we'll get a normal cable like this. We'll just cut it. I think we need five of these. Yes, we need five of these. You cut it and then, you know, you twist it around and you put some electrical tape in there and you have your ground pins. And you know, a bunch of these extra pins to connect it. I don't know the exact numbers. You can, I will link uh, the blog in the description and you can, you know, take a look at it because I will be actually following this. So how can we assemble this? Um, first of all, you need to uh, screw in your antenna. So we're sure about this. Do not ever run your Meshtastic node or power it up without an antenna, otherwise it will burn the LoRa chip. So you need to have an antenna connected. Next thing is you're gonna add the IPix connection to the LoRa chip, right? Like this, and you can see it's secure. It can move left and right, but not up and down. Now, next part is we're gonna follow the schematic on my website. Uh, schematic have every pin uh, described here to be connected to the other ones. I think except the, I think it was DI, uh, DIO4 and DIO5, these are not connected, but all the other pins are connected. Uh, let's just do a quick example here. For example, SCK, which is the clock, we're gonna connect it like this. And then on the schematic, you can see that it goes to IO5. Now these have it labeled as D but it doesn't really matter. If you buy uh, an ESP from AliExpress, sometimes they change these labels, not all of the time. So don't worry about it, just focus on the number mostly. Now let's try to find the DIO5, which is right there. Let me see if the camera can fix it up right there and you know, you connect it and done. So I will go ahead and connect the rest of these cables according to the schematic and you will find the link in the description and uh, we'll move from there. Okay, so everything is hooked up. A couple things to watch out for, guys. Uh, you will have to connect uh, the 3v3 volt here to the 3v3 volt uh, pin on the uh, on the ESP, and make sure also to ground it uh, with the pin that like right next to it. Uh, sometimes it's create an issue if you ground it somewhere else. Somewhere else. 
so yeah, that's that. Everything is connected. I just followed the schematic on my website and you can go ahead and do that as well. And uh, now we gonna uh, flash it. Uh, now for you to flash it, you will need to have a micro USB. For this one, sometimes it comes with type C, but you need to make sure this supports data. Now, before we go ahead and connect it, uh, we're gonna go to the flasher.meshtastic.org uh, and then you're gonna select a target device. It's gonna be DIY V1. Framework is the latest stable one. And then we're gonna press flash, scroll down, continue. Not gonna change anything here. I'm gonna say full erase and install. Now, before we click erase flash and install, we gonna go ahead and hold the boot button here. Let me do it here with this comfortable hand. Here, we're gonna hold boot, connect this, and then don't release it yet. Now press erase flash. We select the COM port. Now it's saying connecting, doing some stuff. It's gonna take a while. And then once you see a percentage here, one, two, three, four, five percent, you can release the button and leave it to flash. Now, I will speed up the video here and I will come back to you when uh, this is flashed. Okay, now we're done flashing. Uh, now we're gonna connect to our device, which is the first one here. And the default, uh, pass key for this is one, two, three, four, five, six. You can change it later. I'm gonna pair. I'm gonna wait for it. Now, first time we have to select the region. For me, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select EU433. Uh, just because this LoRa is a 433, if you go and uh, buy another chip, uh, you need to select your frequency here correctly. I'm gonna go with European Union 433, and then we're gonna go down. Now it says here 30 decibel, that's way too much. This chip only support up to 17. So we're gonna adjust that. Again, check your local law. Yours might be different. Um, I think in Europe maximum is 12. I'm gonna save. Now it's gonna restart here a little bit. It's gonna lose connection. And then connect again. All right, now we're connected. If we go to nodes, you can see uh, the other node I have here lying around. Now, sometimes it doesn't show up very fast. Just give it a couple minutes, um, up to an hour. It should show up here. And uh, let's uh, let's test uh, let's let's send a test message here, and we can say I tested this before the video, and we can say pop, I guess. And it says waiting to be acknowledged and acknowledged. Okay, so let's bring in the other node I have here. It's gonna be very delicate, and this is the one that received the message. And you can see it says pop here, and we can send a new one. And I don't know if it's gonna show up here. After a while, it says that. Okay, um, let's do the other way around because I have this configured here as a rotary encoder. And we got a message. It says wait. Now, because it's a rotary encoder, it's gonna send to the public, um, to the public channel, not the uh, private one. So you can see it here is the primary channel, which is the public one. And let me send another one and see if it's gonna work. It says okay. And it is sending and receiving. So this is how you do it. Uh, if you're wondering how to add this rotary encoder or a GPS or um, uh, um, telemetry uh, sensor, uh, you're gonna use like, for telemetry sensor, you can use something like this. It's called the BME280. And for a GPS, there is a GPS chip. You can check my website. I have everything documented there. And uh, you see here, let me move this around here. 
uh, with just an ESP and a lower chip and a cheap antenna. I think all of these will not even cost you like 10 bucks. You have your own Mishtastic node. Now, some of you might wondering, um, okay, well, it's cool, but how do we power this thing? Uh, it is worth noting here that this ESP does not have a BMS. So if you connect a battery to it, uh, it will not be able to charge it. And if you, even if it charges, it, you might have some overcharging issue or like over discharging. So what you need to do is you get a battery shield like this one. This have an integrated BMS and everything and it's have a three pin, uh, three volt pin out and five volt. Um, now for the ESP, because it doesn't have a volt regulator on the five volt, you will, uh, on the three volt, sorry. You need to use the five volt pin. You will just solder in two pins here and then on your ESP you will connect it to the VIN and the ground. This is uh, the one that supports uh, 5 volt in and it is uh, volt, uh, voltage, like it does have a volt regulator in here so it will be a little bit safer to use. Just make sure you do not power it from the battery and the ESP at the same time you will fry your ASP32 here. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, guys, leave them in the comment below and uh, I will be more than happy to answer it.